Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Umar bin Abid and we're watching my linguistics. So in this video, uh, we look at the multiple choice questions from chapter 3. The sounds of language also known as phonetics. And it's from the latest edition of this book, uh, The Study of Language by George Jude. And this is also uh, one of the best books for introductory linguistics. If you haven't uh, studied linguistics in your life, so the first time if you want to study linguistics, so I think uh, this is the best book to start. So I'll also explain uh, some distractors and how to deal with such type of uh, multiple choice questions, such type of MCQs. So the first one is uh, choose the word that begins with a voiceless sound so it means you uh, need to have a better understanding of voiceless sounds what voiceless sounds are so if we look at the option so uh, we have to mention that choose the words that begins with a voiceless sound but in bet the first sound is b which is voice sound we know in that once again the first sound is voiceless uh voiced in mat once again the nasal sound it is voiced in pet the first sound is voiceless actually and in wet wet and in wet both of these words are also beginning with the voiced sounds so this is the correct option so you need to have the understanding uh, of the voiceless and voice sounds and i think it's not very difficult if you just feel problem or if, if you just forget something by chance so if you have such type of option so you can silently uh, pronounce all these first sounds and keeping your finger on your adam's apple on your throat and uh, say all the sounds and you will feel that in all other sounds you will feel some kind of vibration uh, in on, in your throat when you say where where p, uh, m, d, b. but when you say p, you will not feel any kind of vibration so yeah this is the next one is choose the word that ends with the voice sounds that ends with the voice sounds so keep in mind that ends with the voice sounds so in bass at the end uh, we have this sound so it's a voiceless sound in enough we have first sound at the f in fudge we have this sound at the end j it is a it is actually the voice sound so this is the correct, correct option and in race we have s sound and in rush we have sh sound which is also voiceless voiceless and in rack we have sound at the end which is also a voiceless so only uh, this could be the correct option all right uh, let me yeah fudge the third is a uh, question is how do we refer to this phonetic symbol this phonetic symbol this i am not going to pronounce the name right now so uh, just have some option angma at glottal shaw theta and wedge so this is also once again related this is one of the mcqs which is testing your knowledge which is just testing your knowledge whether you know it or not so the correct option for this is the correct item is at so this is the correct option angma uh, let me write for you angma is this sound oh, sorry yeah glottal is actually glottal stop is this and usually the glottal sound is uh. schwa sound is the vowel you know this vowel and theta once again this one sorry my writing is not good here and then uh, wedge uh, I couldn't recall what is the uh, wedge sound. Sorry, 
but yes the correct option is s for this uh, this is the symbol uh, choose the words uh, choose the two words that begin and end with fricatives so you know uh, you might uh, you should know what are fricatives only then you can answer this question so that end with fricatives at the end of this word thus we have this fricative so the first option is this in flag we have last sound g which is g it is a voiced uh, voice sounds and it is actually a stop or plosive in hash hash we have sh sound it is also a fricative in seek we have k sound at the end which is also a stop in that we have t which is also a stop sound and in ways we have z uh, ways yeah uh, which is actually yeah v a s e let me see the correct pronunciation s or z although both are fricatives yeah was ways ways so it can be ways it can be ways so it is also ending at fricatives so what is the uh, question choose the two words that begin and end with fricatives so this is how we can be confused begin and end with fricatives we have to choose so the first is hash in hash we have her in the beginning and share in the end so both are fricative in seek uh, no the first is fricative the last is stop in that uh, the first is fricative but the last is stop in ways the first is fricative and the loss last is also fricative so these two are the correct op options a hash and ways the last option is choose the two words that normally contain this form so caught no in caught we have a single vowel actually this one in key we have this e sound in late it is it has a diff thong this one late all right so the first one is this in my once again we have a diff thong which is i this one in the rest of the items the first one myth we have just this sound miss and in you we have this o vowel so the key oh sorry late and my these are the correct options so this is how uh, a good good mcus are made and they are actually based upon your understanding of the chapter and your somewhat knowledge about the chapter so I hope uh, this would be useful for you. Thank you. Bizarre